It's not important the words, it's important the feeling. And uh, the feeling you can watch the feeling how they play, how they play it, and uh, how they will play next season. And I don't want to be good. I prefer to be to be more aggressive. And to be more aggressive is to say that we want to win. And of course, all of managers the world want to win. And of course, here also we're going to try to, to win as well. If there's anybody in here who, who I give a statement to saying I don't think I can win this fight, let him be seen now, let him be heard. Never seen it as bad as this, never, never. In, I've, I've lived here 31 years and I've never seen it up to, you see where that white transit van is over at road. I've seen it come up as far as there before, but ne never no further. Can I just say, Yous have all sang justice for the 96 for 27 years and we as families are very proud of what you've done to help us to get where we are today. And her face was full of blood, her hair was scuffed up and roughed up and her head tilted back like this. We were only with uh, Joe on Tuesday. Um, kind of celebrating, supporting each of those new MPs, aren't we? Yeah, with the 2015 intake and Joe was a big part of that. And so it's just devastating, absolutely devastating. And of course the most profound thing that's happened is that two children have lost their mother, a husband has lost a loving wife, and of course Parliament has lost one of its most passionate and brilliant campaigners, someone who epitomised the fact that politics is about serving others. But suddenly it's quite trendy, I think, to be a Eurosceptic and to believe that the best people to govern Britain are the British people. We're the ones that haven't got the jobs up here. We're the ones without the prosperity. So at the end of the day, that's the reason why I voted to leave.